This afternoon, I am uncovering new information related to the shooting death of Antoine Carter, which happened St. Patrick's Day in the city of Cleveland. A woman arrested last week charged with obstruction of justice has now been charged with murder and aggravated murder. And this morning, she was in court for an initial appearance. Tonight, I'm following through with what new court documents say and the continued search for another suspect. Less than two weeks ago, I first reported on the March 17th death of Antoine Carter, a mother of five who worked as a home health aide. Evidence from Cleveland's real-time crime center shows a car following Carter's vehicle on East 105th Street, right near Garfield Avenue. Someone pops out of a passenger side window, points a gun with a blue laser on it toward Carter's vehicle, and shoots. Cleveland officers heard the shots and returned fire as Carter's vehicle turned down the street where she lived. The officers were at the Carter family home because earlier that morning, Carter called 911 and later her mom to report a threat and busted car windows. The medical examiner saying preliminary testing, quote, does not indicate that police activity was directly responsible for the decedent's death. Her kids deserve justice. Her family deserves justice. Her, because you left me with so much pain, her kids hurting missing their mom. That's what Carter's mom told me days after her daughter's death. I promised to follow through and today uncovered new details. 19 year old Trinity Ford is at the Cuyahoga County Jail being held on a $1 million bond charged with murder and aggravated murder. A probable cause affidavit states Ford quote did drive the suspect vehicle which contained at least one additional occupant shooter. This individual shot and killed the victim Antoine Carter. A criminal complaint states Ford, quote, unlawfully did purposely cause the death of Antoine Carter and did have a firearm on her at the time of the offense. Today, the Cuyahoga County Sheriff's Department told me investigators are still looking for the person who shot that gun with a laser on it at Carter's vehicle. So far, authorities haven't released a suspect name or description. Carter's family is demanding a full and transparent investigation into everyone's actions. I don't understand why someone would be chasing her to where you you trying to kill her. She, she not that type of person, like I don't get it. The Cuyahoga County Sheriff's Department, along with the Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigation, continues to investigate. Any tips can be called into the Sheriff's Department or Crime Stoppers of Cuyahoga County. The number is 216-252-7463.